How to practice sound decision making? Welcome to my class and welcome to my channel. Today, we are to discuss Homeroom Guidance 10, Quarter 2, Module 7, Sound Decision Making from our DepEd Homeroom Guidance 10, Quarter 2, Module 7, Sound Decision Making. I am your subject teacher, Dr. Janan Gay Consignado, and I know that you are all excited to learn new things today. I hope you prepared the following materials. Notebook, paper, pen, and of course, our module. Gabay sa magulang o tagapag-alaga. Isinulat ang module na ito bilang gabay ng mag-aaral upang malinang ang kanyang aspetong personal at panlipunan. Nakadesenyo ito para sa distance learning o alternatibong pumaraan ng pagkatuto na hindi nangangailangan ng physical na presensya sa paaralan bilang tugon sa direktiba na pagkansela ng face-to-face -face class dulot ng pandemyang COVID-19. Naglalayo ng module na ito upang matulungan ang mag-aaral na maging responsable sa paggawa ng desisyon. Nilalayon din itong makapag-muni-muni siya sa kanyang mga karanasan at mga nagawang pagpapasya. Sa kabuuan, ang nilalaman nito ay naglalayong matukoy ang mga salik na dapat isaalang-alang sa paggawa ng pasya at paano pauunla rin ang kasanayan patungo sa paggamit ng personal at pangkalahatang pag-unlad. Inaasahan namin ang inyong buong pusong paggabay sa mag-aaral sa kanyang pagtupad sa mga gawain. Mahalaga ang inyong pakikibahagi sa ilang gawain itinakda upang makuha nila ang mga aral na nais iparating ng module na ito. Kaugnay nito, hinihiling namin na mabigyan ninyo sila ng oras sa tahanan upang magampanan ang pagtupad sa bawat gawain. Ang transformasyong bunga ng kanilang pagkatuto ay maaari ninyong makita sa kaniyang maayos na pakikitungo maging sa loob o labas man ng inyong tahanan. Introductory Message For the Learner This module is designed to help you in your academic-related needs. Concerns affecting your personality, your relationship with others, interaction in the community, and in discovering your interests, talents, and skills that will help you explore future career options and opportunities. This self-learning module has six interactive activities, namely, let's try this, let's explore this, keep in mind, you can do it what I have learned, and share your thoughts and feelings. When we say, let's try this, this will help you to get ready to learn. Number two, let's explore this, which will guide you towards what you need to learn. Number three, keep in mind, which will give you the lessons that you need to learn and understand. Number four, you can do it, which will help you apply the lessons learned in daily activities. Number five, what I have learned, which will test and evaluate your learning. And number six, share your thoughts and feelings, which will help you express your thoughts, opinions, and feelings. Make sure to read, think, follow, and enjoy every task that you are asked to do. Have fun, stay safe, and healthy. Module 7, Sound Decision Making. Learning Objectives Number 1. Examine the steps in personal decision-making Number 2. Practice sound decision-making and of course, decide an appropriate action on issues relevant to yourself and others Suggested total time allotment, 120 minutes And the materials needed are Sheets of paper or bond papers Pen or pencil any coloring materials, scissors, and glue or paste. Introduction The design of this module intends to help you analyze sound decisions and goals toward the achievement of your personal welfare and common good. This will further help you examine different factors in decision-making, provide proper procedures toward sound decision-making and evaluate experiences relevant to it. Let's review. In the previous module, you have learned about developing yourself. You were provided with discussion and activities to help you determine the value of knowing yourself by identifying the strengths and weaknesses 
towards becoming a better version of yourself. Let's try this. The suggested time allotment for this is 25 minutes. My personal steps in decision making. As a great learner, you are expected to somehow be able to make decisions in your everyday life. This activity will determine your knowledge and skills in decision making. Number one is prepare a sheet of paper and fold it crosswise. Copy the illustration below and complete the activity. Number two, on the left side of the paper, recall a significant event from your past when you made a correct or appropriate decision which led to a positive outcome. Well, on the right side, cite a significant event when you made a wrong or inappropriate decision which led to a negative outcome. Share things which you are comfortable to discuss with your homeroom guidance teacher. Number three, begin with the nature of the problem. Reflect on the steps that you take leading to your decision. Number four, answer the processing questions after. So, we have the illustration, the left and the right, the problem and the decision. Go ahead. Processing questions. How did you feel when reflecting on the decisions you made in the past? Number two, what are the steps that you identified and followed in making your personal decisions? And number three, what have you learned on the results of your decisions in the past? These are the processing questions. Let's explore this. The suggested time allotment for this is 25 minutes. Different scenarios, what will I do? To further test your decision-making skills, analyze the decision-making scenarios below. Read carefully and reflect on the important steps in the decision-making process. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Scenario 1. You dream of being a part of the school's basketball team. To achieve that, you think that you should practice every day. Two of your classmates who are already members of the team constantly size up your efforts. They make fun of you for practicing and for working hard. One day, they ask you to hang out with them. They told you that if you will join them and do things for them, they will recommend you to the team coach. What will you do? Scenario number one. Scenario two. You are worried because one of your friends has been hanging out with your classmates who are pressuring her to try drinking alcohol. One of them is her longtime crush who even invited her to come to their house during weekend because his parents will not be there. Your friend came to you to help her decide. What will you do? That is our scenario number two. Scenario number three. Someone in your class cheated on a test. You know for a fact that he and your friend were writing answers on a small note before the test. When the test papers were given, your teacher congratulated him for getting the highest score. You are confused about reporting that he cheated and your friend might also be punished as well for helping him. What will you do? Processing questions. First question. How did you feel while deciding for the given scenarios? Number two, what are the factors that you considered in making your decisions? And number three, what important insights have you gained from the decisions you have made? These are the processing questions. Keep in mind, the suggested time allotment for this is 15 minutes. As a growing adolescent, you should be able to make constructive choices and be accountable of your actions. Remember that each decision that you make has consequences that can affect your life. Below are some important tips to help you enhance your responsible decision-making skills. First, 
be mindful and accurate in recognizing the problems and challenges that you are facing. Tip number two, effectively analyze the problem by looking at it in different perspectives, including how and why it happened. Tip number three, develop your ability to identify several options and explore the possible consequences for each. Tip number four, approach problems by considering your values and principles. Tip number five, take time to evaluate how you solve a problem by reflecting on its outcome or result. Keep in mind that some decision is about making choices that are good for you and for others. I will highlight this, making choices that are good for you and for others. It involves critical thinking, self-discipline, and accountability. Most importantly, it is about understanding yourself, your actions, and how it will affect others. Throughout your journey, you will become more and more independent until you can be matured enough to make your own decisions. You can do it. The suggested time allotment for this is 25 minutes. Decision making, it's up to me. Number one, copy and complete the table on a sheet of paper. Number two, identify community issues and problems that are relevant to you and decide on the appropriate actions to solve them. And number three, apply your knowledge about sound decision making. We have the template. First column, issue or problem. Second column, cause. Next, appropriate action to take. And the last column has to do with the expected outcome or result. What I have learned. Suggested time allotment for this is 10 minutes. Reflect on your personal experiences and learnings from this module and complete the sentences below. Answer them on a sheet of paper. Number one, in making decisions, I discovered or rediscovered that I value blank. Number two, when making decisions, I learned that I blank. And number three, for me, making decisions is difficult when blank. Share your thoughts and feelings. The suggested time allotment for this is 20 minutes. On a sheet of paper, write a letter for your future self to be reopened at the end of the school year. Consider the following questions in writing your letter. Number one, what are the challenges that you already successfully went through? Number two, what are the challenges that you expect throughout the school year? Number three, what lessons have you learned up to this point? Number four, what goals have you achieved? Who helped you along the way? Number five, what will you remind yourself about making decisions and achieving future goals? Dear Future Self, Our reference, Department of Education, Homeroom Guidance, Grade 10, Self-Learning Module 5, Overcoming Life's Challenges, Manila, Department of Education, Central Office, 2021. And here's the picture of our module. Home Room Guidance 10. Do you have questions? If you have questions, kindly use our comment section. Go ahead. Kindly like our video. Thank you very much. Handang isip, handa bukas. Sama-sama sa pagsulong ng edukalidad. I am Ms. Janelle Consignado and please subscribe to our channel because next time I will be uploading again our lesson in Homeroom Guidance 10. Thank you, stay safe, healthy, and happy. Bye-bye!